Let's talk about bear market strategies, what you should be doing in the bear run for cryptocurrency. This is gonna be a talking style video. I don't really have anything to show you. This is coming from experience. This is coming from dealing with two separate bear markets before. And look, you know, everything I'm telling you guys is from experience. Like, I'm not reading this in a book. I'm not making anything up. Uh, this could be some very valuable information for people watching. Look, you know, I don't know if you've seen my energy on my YouTube channel, but I have been turning up. I've been putting in more effort, uh, spending more time uh, creating content as well as building FS 2.0, spending more time with my group. This is not the time to back off. Um, if anything, this is the time to aggressively attack as cryptocurrency falls, a lot of the fake people that were here just for short-term profits are going to start to exit the market. And this is where you can take over. Remember, it's not exactly a competition, but when there's when it's really crowded, it's harder to get uh, success. It's true. Um, it's the same thing for marketing. It's the same thing for trading. Uh, it's just harder to get success when there's so many people fighting for the same thing. So the bear run is your opportunity to actually get the profit that you are looking for that maybe you didn't receive. And just to be clear with everybody watching this video, um, you know, look, I, I made a lot of money my first cycle, but you know, not being experienced enough, a fool and his money are soon parted. So my first cycle, I actually lost, or I think I broke even, I got really, I made a little bit, I didn't make a lot of money at all. Uh, my first cycle, even though, you know, I made my first mill around that time, you know, I lost a lot of it because, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't listen uh, to the people with credi credibility. I diamond hands. I held through the whole bear run. And then, you know, Ethereum dropped to 98%. Think about these things, right? And not only that, but I didn't have any cash flow uh, the first cycle. And when Ethereum dropped 98%, I had to literally like sell crypto at the bottom just to make, uh, just to pay bills and things like this, which uh, forced me to realize, um, you know, these really bad uh, prices for Ethereum and some other altcoins I had. You get the point. The gist here um, is that if this is your first cycle and maybe you lost money, it doesn't really matter because all of the knowledge and experience that I gained, I used to attack the second cycle. Um, you know, this this current one that we're in now, the 2021 cycle. And, you know, I made millions of dollars, guys. So the point here is that I say it over and it's so stupid and people don't believe me, but I really believe that education is by far the best asset you could possibly have in life. Money comes and goes, friends come and go. You know, education, they can't take it from your brain unless you get brain damage or something, you know, of course, but you get the point, you know, it, you could literally uh, lose everything uh, this cycle and then come back next cycle and become a multimillionaire. It doesn't really matter. And that's the beauty of cryptocurrency. And that's also the beauty of, uh, you know, really believing in yourself um, and always investing in yourself. Like that's the one thing you'll never lose on ever. You could lose on these altcoin calls all day, but the knowledge and, and exp okay, let me just stop saying the same thing over and over again. You get the point. If you appreciate these videos, it's kind of relaxed, you know, uh, talk to you, like try to talk to my audience. I've been, you know, uploading more frequent videos. If you appreciate this, do me a favor, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, I want to do, um, you know, I just thought of this. Let's just do a giveaway. I'm going to give away some cryptocurrency uh, to one select person. Do me a favor. Leave your public address. Let's do Ethereum. So leave your Ethereum public address below. If you don't know what that means, well, you probably shouldn't be in cryptocurrency in the first place. Definitely educate yourself. Leave your Ethereum public address below and we will do a giveaway. I'll give it away in the next couple of videos or so. Um, but yeah, I appreciate everybody watching this. Now, also follow me on Twitter. Uh, we actually just opened up a free mentor group. Uh, you know, it's free for real. Now, the only thing you have to give me is your time. I'm not going to just give you guys all of my time uh, without you returning the favor. So I will ask you to do some tasks. And for that, um, you know, I'll give you free more mentorship and entrepreneurship. Now, just to be clear, um, you know, for the people that are not very serious about this, because being that it's a free group, we're going to get a lot of people who are just playing around. Um, for the people that are not serious and executing, I will kick you out immediately. It's going to be very, very uh, serious. And I have, I'm going to have, you know, a moderator to watch people and make sure they execute the tasks that we ask for. Look, my time is very valuable. Uh, so, you know, please uh, take that in consideration when joining this free mentor group. Um, but yeah, the link is going to be on my Twitter. So go follow me at Alex on crypto. Uh, on my Twitter. I'll leave the, the, you know, the Twitter account and the pinned comment below. All right. So, and this is not just to be clear, it's not an, being an investing, it's not an investing group. It's purely for entrepreneurship in crypto. Uh, and you'll see why, you know, we'll talk about some things in this video. It'll be interesting. All right. So the first one, uh, the first tip for, uh, you know, making money in a bear run, look, I kind of said it, but let me just, 
look, sometimes it's me just reiterating what I've already told you guys and trying to convince you. But look, increase the energy that you put out into crypto. Don't decrease it because there's no money anymore. Increase your energy output, whether that's day trading, whether that's scalp trading, whether that's investing, whether that's uh, you know trying to create a social media or build a business in crypto, you should be sprinting now. And the reason I say that is because again, I've said this in investing in every other aspect of your life. Guys, when people are doing something, you must do the exact opposite. Everybody's checking out. Retail's leaving the market. Everyone's getting scared. So you should flip the script and attack it aggressively as if it was like your last uh, you know, shot at making millions of dollars. Remember, while everybody's slowing down in the bear market, I'm going to be sprinting. I'm going to be sprinting. I'm going to be taking over business. I'm going to take market share. I'm going to be taking people's followers. I'm going to be doing... I Look, look at me as a perfect example because I practice what I preach. You will literally see me turn into a different man in the bear market. And I highly suggest everybody follow this advice. And it doesn't matter what you're currently doing. Everything could have an increase of energy. Even if you don't even put money into a coin. Like I know a lot of people, oh, how do you, how do you increase your output if you're not investing in coins? Well, research them, read, understand the foundational principles, go read books on cryptocurrency. Have you studied uh, the most pivotal characters in cryptocurrency, like the, the biggest people in crypto? What are they doing? Do you know on-chain investigation? Do you know technical analysis? Do you know fundamental analysis? These things can all be answered um, you know, to, for yourself. And then when the next bull run comes, you'll be very prepared. Please increase the energy and output. This is so important. It's just so important because, you know, a, a lot of people don't know this, but you know, I was making my YouTube uh, account and I was really trying as hard as I can. And actually my first big video that got thousands of views that now is the most viewed video I've ever made was actually a video about Coinbase. And this was at the bear run. In the bear run, I started getting views because nobody was making videos about Coinbase. No one was making videos about Coinbase. So it was very easy for me to get all, uh, basically in YouTube, how it works is you have a search algorithm. That's what you guys search. And let's say you typed in Coinbase, I came up number one. It's called ranking. It's called ranking first place on, on YouTube. And I wouldn't have gotten that opportunity if, like I've even in recent history with much more subscribers, back then I had only like 500 subscribers. Now I have much more. I tried to make a Coinbase video and I didn't rank, like I think two months ago or something. And um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to explain to you is that I could I ranked for Coinbase when I only had a thousand subscribers and I recently tried it with 160,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it. So that's the point is when everybody's here, it's crowded, it's crowded. So, you know, don't follow the hype. If anything, get away from the hype. This is what I've told you guys in your trading all the time. When a coin is being talked about by every influencer, it is way too late. You should not be getting into a coin after everybody. If everybody's talking about this one coin, ignore it. This works time and time again. It, it worked for me and Luna. The reason why I didn't talk about Luna is because it was a crowded trade. There were so many people jumping on Luna uh, that it was just too late. Like, uh, this is the same thing I told people about Chainlink. When Chainlink was top five, I told people to sell it. And everybody like, oh, no, it's going to increase in value. I'm like, you idiot. It's top five already. It's already top five. It can't really go up higher. I sold it and people hated me for it. And it made me a whole bunch of or saved me a whole bunch of money. Um, but yeah, you get the point. Like, uh, increase your energy output. Try to attack this market as aggressively as you possibly can and prove it to yourself that you could do this without money or without, you know, all the hype and your friends telling you things because if you can if you can make it through the hard times then the good times are going to be 10 times easier so and and you'll be way better when the good times come so definitely increase energy and output uh for the uh you know bear run number two you can learn short-term trading strategies now a lot of people uh you know don't like this advice because Cryptocurrency is one of the best appreciating assets on planet Earth, and it's pretty easy to make money as long as you uh, hold in dollar cost average. And I do think this is very true, but that doesn't mean people don't do it. So I have multiple people in my group, The Fundamental Secrets. You could take advantage, $5 five-day trial, and the pinned comment below, take advantage and you know go try it out for yourself. But there's multiple people that use scalp trading and day trading strategies to make money. The beauty of short-term trading is that you get consistent profit that you can pay your bills with. Now, again, personally, I don't think it's the greatest lucrative strategy for the long run. Like if you think in five, 10 year terms, I don't think it's the most lucrative, but I do think in the bear run, it probably is the most lucrative because for investing uh, purposes, you know, uh, it's like you, you can't, you have to wait, you have to wait very long. Maybe it's not the most lucrative in the bear run, but 
the best way I can explain this is that it's the best for cash flow. It's the best for cash flow because you can pay your bills. It's it's predictable. When you're investing, you got to wait a long time before you can, you know, like I'll be buying coins in a bear run, but I'm not going to sell them until the next bull run. So that, that could be like two or three years. So short-term trading strategies, they, they do work, even though it does require a special type of person and it is very hard. And I'm not trying to, you know, I, I will never say something's easy when it's not. Uh, just to be clear with everybody, it's going to be hard, but it doesn't mean you can't do it. And I would never discourage somebody from trying to do something that's hard. I know a lot of people think that me saying things like this, like trading is a bad, oh, because investing is the best way. It traditionally beats everybody. But it's like entrepreneurship, by the way, is like one in a hundred people ever make it as entrepreneurs. But you don't see me discouraging people from doing that. Why would I discourage somebody from trying to follow their dreams, even though it's statistically unlikely? It doesn't make sense. Um, you know, I'm always going to encourage people to do the impossible because we have one life. We have one life. And you losing money or failing is not a loss. Like, that is an educational experience. So personally, from my experience, you know, doing things that are very hard or quote unquote impossible has taught me so much. It's taught me so much. And you could definitely learn short-term strange strategies if that's your personality type. I, I highly recommend uh, this has to be your personality type. Um, and if you don't like looking at charts or math and things like that, I'll, I'll give you guys another option for the bear run to make, you know, uh, cash flow or passive income. Um, but yeah, you could do it. You could definitely do it. It's it's not out of the question. It just depends on what type of person you are. It depends on how long you're going to stick it out. It depends on how much you know. And, and I, But I won't discourage it because people do it all the time. Number three, this is super important, guys. Connections, connections, connections. Please build connections in the cryptocurrency community. Find people with credibility, buddy, buddy with them, offer something to them, give them something for free. And, you know, uh, maybe they'll return the favor in the future. Guys, look, I can get in contact with, uh, you know, founders of coins now that I couldn't before. Before it was very hard for me to get in contact with these people. Now it's, it's kind of easy for me to do that. Um, you know, when I originally made Fundamental Secrets, I, I built this checklist and the checklist is basically a hundred different uh, variables of how you quantify if a project's undervalued or not. Um, you could basically go to coin market cap, close your eyes, you know, pick a coin and use this checklist. To, it'll tell you if it's cheap or not. Um, but the, the way I built the checklist is by asking everybody with credibility in the cryptocurrency industry. That's not the only way. Uh, you know, I definitely read books and, and used some of my experience to build this checklist. But basically, my million dollar business was built off of asking connections what's the best way to uh, value. Uh, a, a cryptocurrency. That's literally what I did. Um, and you know, it built me like it, like that's the biggest thing I'm trying to explain to everybody is that this is the best time to contact them because they're not being bombarded by all of retail trying to ask them stupid questions. Right? So the way you do this is you get in touch with business owners, you ask them how you can help them. You get in touch with groups. Um, I'm making a free group where you can literally contact me for free on my Twitter. I told you guys like these connections are invaluable. And as I progress through my entrepreneurship journey and build businesses, it just becomes more and more valuable. Some of the best insight I've ever gotten was from a mentor or somebody that's making more money than me that have already been through the struggle and can give me some uh, some context into my current situation. So, you know, whether that's being a day trader or whatever you choose uh, for your path during the bear run and the bull run or your path in cryptocurrency as a whole, you're gonna there's gonna be people that are ahead of you in that game. For a fact, I don't care if you're an on-chain investigator, I don't care if you're a day trader, I don't care if you're an investor, there's people that are already ahead of you and you can kill the learning curve and expedite this process of you making as much money as possible by simply reaching out to people on Telegram, Twitter, uh, you know, sending them an email and, and don't get discouraged when one of them doesn't respond to you. Send out 100 messages, 200 messages. You will get responses. You can ask them any question you want, which brings me back to the original kind of topic we're talking about here. Guys, it's not about the money, man. I don't know how many times I got to tell you. It's about the knowledge. You should have a massive, uh, a massive, you know, uh, energy towards getting as much knowledge as you possibly can. You should have an unquenchable thirst for knowledge in every area, whether that's through people, books, or YouTube videos, doesn't matter. You, like, look, man, people don't get this. I made a paid course, right? Obviously, I have the course and the coaching. But it's like, did you guys know that I spent maybe uh, $40,000 on paid courses for marketing, investing, business development, self-help? I spent, so I'm a practitioner of what I preach, okay? So before I ever made Fundamental Secrets, I spent so much money on digital courses it's like everybody calls it a scam. The people who are calling it a scam are broke. 
straight up. The people are calling, uh, you know, uh, education a scam. They're broke. Now, don't get me wrong. There's some people that are swindling, uh, but like, I learned to identify credibility. There's some courses I purchased that were a waste of money, but then there was some I paid 10 grand for that changed my entire life, right? So you should just have so much, you should be attacking knowledge like it's the only thing, on. it's like the most valuable commodity. Time, knowledge, most valuable commodity. Look, whether it's paid advertising or paid courses, whether it's uh, you know books, whether it's reaching out and getting the information for free, whether it's watching YouTube videos, you should be doing pretty much all of them aggressively every single day of your life. So please guys, build connections, find some uh, trading buddies, build a group, talk to these people, build friends. You know, Even if you just make a little connection and you just talk to them maybe for a day or so, and then don't even talk to them to the next bull run, at least they know who you are. And when you, when you message them, they're gonna remember who you are right? So it doesn't have to be this whole energy wasting thing. Look, sometimes you got to do things without making money. I, I don't know how to explain this to you guys, but the best way to make money is to plan for long periods of time. You're planting seeds that are going to be fruitful for you in a year or two years from now. So if you think that every task you have to make should make you money tomorrow, like you lost already. I know, I know the, you know, the, the current system of you getting a paycheck in two weeks and getting a paycheck at the end of the month, I know this is what they indoctrinated you into thinking, but every action I take usually does not like bear fruit until like a couple of months later, a year later, like every action I take, every action I take. And what happens is when you do that enough, you get this amplifying effect of uh, in the future, everything paying off. But like as if you want the real game, like, I don't know, like there's going to be select few people that can resonate from what I'm saying here. Like you got to stop working for money. You got to work for experience. Like, I don't know how else to put it to you, but this is what I did. I paid my dues. I was dead broke for four or five years trying to become an entrepreneur. Dead broke. I, I talked to multiple millionaires, tried to work for them for free. I reached out to so many different people, got denied by so many different people, went dead broke, couldn't pay my bills, you know, uh, my girlfriend at the time was literally like, like we, we couldn't pay bills, man. And I paid my dues. You have to pay your dues. It's okay if you lose money. You're still alive, right? There's 30% of the people on planet Earth that don't even have access to clean water. Like think about these things. You have your, most of you probably, and if you don't, I'm sorry, but you probably have your limbs, right? You probably can get good food and you probably can get good water. Be thankful uh, for the air you're breathing and stop acting like you need to get paid every single day time you do something. It's not the way it works. That's the rat race. And if you want to exit the rat race, you got to live in the real world. The real world is you got to plant the seeds and they'll bear fruit in the future. So please build as many connections as you possibly can. Number four, this is actually a really good one. And I think uh, you can kill three birds with one stone, um, maybe even more birds, uh, but get hired at a cryptocurrency company. Now it's going to be a little bit harder now considering the fact that we're in a bear run, uh, but if you're good at what you do, depending on whatever you pick, like whatever it's marketing, business development, you know, customer service, you know, moderator, whatever it is, um, if you get hired at a crypto company, the beauty of this is that you get to stay in the market and making money in this market. So you're getting an education, right? It's working for experience. You're getting an education and you're getting paid for doing it. And then when the next bull run comes, you're going to have all of this alpha and this insider information um, that nobody else has. All this insight, all of this experience, that's probably the best way to do it. And it's probably the most obtainable. Uh, you know, all of these other things, you know, a little bit harder, but if you just get a job, man, even if it's a part-time job, even if you get a job for somebody and just work for them for free, where it, like, of course they shouldn't ask you for a lot, but work for them for free. That There's nothing wrong with that. Work for them for the bare minimum because all of this education will add up and the next bull run, you're going to be the one making a whole bunch of money. Not everybody's entrepreneurs. Not everybody's entrepreneurs. I, I do, like maybe, um, I think there's much more entrepreneurs than we think, uh, for sure. But not everybody's willing to take it that far. And, and that's okay. You can work for a company, right? So getting a cryptocurrency job uh, is really, really, I think, the best probably for most people. Probably for, you know, I would say 60 to 70% of everybody watching this video, get a job with a cryptocurrency company. I don't really do whatever it takes, man. People make excuses. Fix up your resume. You know, uh, if they don't want to hire you, ask to work for free. Um, show them that you're resilient, show them that you'll do whatever it takes, read a couple cryptocurrency books. Like I used to do this, uh, back in the day when I was an entrepreneur, I would literally learn a new subject just to get hired. Like I would read three books just to get hired somewhere. 
Like, why can't you do that? Why is it hard for people to read and, and you know, get really uh, motivated and try to do something great in their life? Go read three books. If you want to become a marketer, go read three to five books on marketing and crypto and then tell them, hey, just pay me 500 bucks a month. And then boom. Then he's like, hey, if, if I do good work for you, then I need to increase my pay. You show them that you're doing good work. Next thing you know, you're making 2000 a month. Next thing you know, you're making 3000 a month. And then in the bull run, you're making $10,000 a month because your marketing efforts are outstanding and they like you and they trust you. Why can't you do this? Why are people so greedy? Be humble in your approach and work for experience and go get a job in cryptocurrency. This could be very beneficial for your life. And then the last one, which honestly, uh, this is from my, my killers, my, my cold-blooded, hardcore people, um, look, make a cryptocurrency business, man. I, look, I think the easiest way is try to start businesses that don't require any money um, uh, or upfront investment. And the way you could do that is consultation in general. Um, there's a reason why I made this group. It's because it only was my time at first. Now it's expensive. But at first, when I first started Fundamental Secrets, it was only me. I was just kind of selling my time, right? You don't have to make a group, though. You can you can do like face-to-face -face consultations, one-on-ones. That's a big thing a lot of people ask me. I just can't do it. I don't have enough time. They ask me for one-on-ones, right? So you probably have the time. You can go sell your time for one-on-ones, right? Teach people cryptocurrency. Teach people how to get in the market. I know I say this. I've said this in a couple of videos, but like this is me trying to reconvince you that all of these things are way better than you think. Um, you should only be thinking of like, you can't, I don't know. Uh, you know, you look at TikTok, you look at these YouTube shorts and some of these videos on, on the internet and these guys are flexing their Lamborghinis and, you know, showing off to the designer. And it just gives you this false expectation that you can achieve it in a short period of time. And maybe you can, but like, guys, that stuff takes 10 years. So for now, you just got to eat a little bit of dirt. And if you don't want to like consult people because you're too good for it, it's just like, bro, like you're not humble. You're just not humble. If you don't want to do the dirty work, you're not humble. I'm sorry. It's just not going to work out for you. Uh, the way success works is being, it's not being, it's not specifically being humble. What it is, is you just have to be able to lower your pride a little bit and work for education, do things you don't like. Like you just have to be able to do things you don't like. You think I really wanted to uh, make a trading group and like teach people that, like I much rather have just traded this whole cycle and just make YouTube videos. That would have been much better for me, but only for me. I wouldn't have helped no one. I wouldn't have helped all the people that made millions of dollars in fundamental secrets. I wouldn't have helped all the people that are currently working for me. It would be, be me by myself. What's good in that? I'm not helping nobody by just me making money. I don't know. That's the way I look at it. Maybe it's a little bit naive. Maybe I don't know. But the way I look at it is I want to change as many people's lives at one time. And and maybe you have to make a business that you don't really like and it, it will pay off in the future. It will pay off in the future. Now, you know, we're building a software company. You guys can go check it out. It's called coinpix.io. And I wouldn't have this opportunity if I didn't teach people how to invest in cryptocurrency. It's as simple as that. If I didn't teach anybody and I kept it all to myself and just made YouTube videos, I would have not had near the amount of resources and capital that I have now to start the software company. And you could do something you don't like. That's fine. I did things I didn't like for six years before I made any dollar, any serious amount of money. I did so much stuff I didn't like. And you should always go towards pain, misery, and uncomfort. Uh, yeah, and and turn into a beast. Um, you know, the more, it's like, the best way I can explain success is, I always say this, this is not the only way to explain it, but I don't know if you guys ever seen that video with the monk. There's a monk, right? And he's burning alive. They, someone lit him on fire. And just to prove to everybody that he has like this perfect concentration, he just stayed perfectly in this like um, meditative state as he's burning alive. He died, um, but he showed no signs of pain. No, he, he, he was basically thriving in chaos. That is who you need to become to make money. Everything around you, you know, your your parents would doubt you, your your uh, siblings would doubt you, your friends will doubt you. You should be able to take that negative energy and turn it into something positive for your life and then aggressively attack whatever goal you have. You should be able to thrive in, in chaos. If chaos scares you, then you need to, it's just a muscle. It's just a muscle. It's not that I'm built by any, like there's, there's nothing smart about, like I don't have a high IQ or maybe I do. I don't know. I've never even taken a test, but I'm, I'm a normal dude. Like I'm, I'm super normal. Like if you guys know me, uh, like seven or eight years ago, 
like complete night and day difference. I used to make music and like I was a delinquent straight up. Um, and now look at me, right? Like I'm not special is what I'm trying to explain to you. But what I could do and what I've done deliberately is I built the muscle, muscle in my brain of pain tolerance and being able to push through things I really just do not want to do, to just push through more than everybody else. If you could just do that one thing, it does not matter how what your current financial situation is. It does not matter, you know, how smart you are. Um, you know, it doesn't matter where what country you live in. It doesn't matter anything. None of that. I don't care. You could be in the worst, the poorest country on planet Earth right now, and make millions of dollars in the next three years. I like. I'm I'm so confident on this. But the the thing that's holding you back is you not being able to push through all the pain and discomfort. It's that simple. If you could just look at the hard thing, the thing that nobody wants to do, and then just be able to do it, but not only do it, do the hard thing and do it with excellence and do it at a high degree, it's it's over. Like you're so valuable. Any job you go to, you're just going to destroy everybody. You're going to destroy everybody. I want you to think about your competition when you go to a job, right? If you just face the truth, if you've read a hundred books, if you work out every day, you read a hundred books, you're just an outstanding human being. And then you go to a job where everybody else is just lazy and slackers. You're going to run laps around them. Think about this. Invest in yourself. Invest in your education. Invest in, the, in, in your ability to overcome obstacles. And you win the game. I promise. I don't care if you're an investor, trader. I don't care what you do. If you can do what nobody else is willing to do, you have won the game. I promise. I promise. It's crazy to say this, but the, the more I, I move through life, the more I realize that that is the game. Um, the game and the meaning of life is growth. It's not the end result. It's not the Lamborghini. Look, I, I made a whole bunch of money, guys. Like I, I started buying, uh, I was buying yachts and I was going to VIP and spending money here and spending money there and I can really go anywhere I want and I was traveling. Look, it's empty. That's why when I see people do this and, and start flexing, it's like they're empty. It gets boring. Like once you spend the money, it's boring. Like I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Once you spend the money, it's boring. But really... It's that little grind, right? It's that little like when you tell yourself, damn, that, that looks impossible right there. And then while you're trying to defeat that monster, whatever it is, that, that in-between part is the meaning of life. That is the meaning of life. Halfway through your bicep rep right here, that is the meaning of life. And maybe you understand what I'm saying, but the grind is the meaning of life. Growth is the meaning of life. I'm telling you right now, uh, this is uh, consistent and truthful. Uh, the struggle uh, you know, the push through that end result of you achieving it and, and feeling all this gratitude and, and helping people while you get there. That is why I live. Um, and all of this, all of this, uh, this emptiness and this hollowness of, of like fast cars, Lamborghinis, and I could buy it now, man. I got a Tesla model three and I regret the decision. Tesla model three is like literally, uh, it's like compared to all the supercars out there, it's very cheap. I think I spent like 60,000 for it. And if you guys watch my video, I actually made a whole bunch of mo money off of the, of buying this car. Um, but it's still, I don't care. I just don't care. The, the things that bring me joy and fulfillment is making these videos, working out, hanging out with my friends, hanging out with my daughters, hanging out with my fiance. These things make me happy. And no, no matter how many computers I buy, tablets I buy and all that, it just, it just doesn't really give me the same satisfaction. I don't know what you want me to tell you guys, but growth is the answer. Um, and if you just, can figure out a way to get that. Like I, I knew this the whole time I was coming up, but I didn't really, you don't know something until you actually experience it. So likely if you do make money, you'll probably, you know, blow a little bit of it doing stupid stuff. It's okay. You know, we all, we all go through it. Um, but the quicker you can snap yourself out of it, uh, actually it's funny, the more money you make. That's just the truth. All right, a lot of rambling here. Uh, this is some bear market tips uh, for success uh, to get through this bear market because I know it's gonna be hard on some people. Uh, I will be, like I said in the beginning of the video, haymakering all of YouTube with content all throughout the bear run. So if you want that consistency, if if you want somebody that's been a veteran in this market, and you guys know I tell it like it is. I'm just telling the truth in every single video I make. Do me a favor, definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel. Turn on uh, the post notifications. There's a little bell at the bottom of the video. If you turn that on, you get the notifications first. And yeah. I'm pushing through with elegance. You guys are gonna, I'm gonna look great in this bear run where everybody's everybody's uh, panicking and flipping out and doing crazy stuff. I'm gonna lose weight. My goal is to lose 15 pounds. Um, 
I'm going to gain strength. Uh, that's the physical part. My diet's going to be impeccable. I'm going to cut off some bad habits. I have a, a smoking habit. I'm going to cut that off. Um, and I'm going to drop massive amounts of content through this entire bear run. And next bull run, you guys are going to see me on top. That's the way it works. There's the answer. It's not a great answer. It hurts a little bit when you hear this. But like I said, move towards pain. That's it for this video. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Catch you in the next one.